Hi guys. <laughs> oh, good to see you. <laughs> What's up everybody? How are we doing? We are happy to see you. And Jeff is really happy because he has some special dough that he's been forming for the last while. Hello, children. <laughs> <laughs> um, yep, we're glad you guys are here. Um, the conversation that we're going to have today and the truth that we want to leave you with is that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, man. Yeah, so I, I am it. going to actually read from this book. This is called I Am So Many Things by Thea Muir. And if you notice, there's a bunch of little seeds on the front. Mm. Okay, so that's going to tie in. It says, the things we believe are like seeds that we plant in our hearts. Our hearts are like fertile soil that grow whatever is planted in them. So if we plant destructive seeds, we get horrible trees growing in our hearts and minds, mm. producing bad fruit in our lives. But if we plant seeds of God's truth about who we are and who he is, we will find ourselves in the most beautiful garden bearing good fruit that lasts for generations to come. So I am going to give you guys a seed to plant in your very own heart today. Ooh, okay? I like it. All right. So I want you guys to repeat after me. Actually, first hold your hand up. Let me get the seed ready. Oh, oh I got want it to here. See. Okay. Here's one for you. Boom. And then here's one for you. Okay. All right. Repeat after me. I am. I am. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Good. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That is our truth for today. I'm going to show you this picture. Hopefully you can see this. That is a picture of Jesus the King forming somebody. Hmm. See that? Okay. That's really good. Yeah. I like so, it. Let's go ahead and read our scripture for today. Jeff, would you like to read that for us? I would love to. So if you guys want to get ready, I'm going to read this is out of Psalm 139. And this is the Passion Translation. Lord, you know everything there is to know about me. You perceive every movement of my heart and soul. And you understand my every thought before it even enters my mind. You are so intimately aware of me, Lord. You read my heart like an open book, and you know all the words I'm about to speak before I even start a sentence. You know every step I will take before my journey even begins. You've gone into my future to prepare the way, and in kindness you follow behind me to spare me from the harm of my past. With your hand of love upon my life, you impart a blessing to me. This is just too wonderful, deep, and incomprehensible. Your understanding of me brings me wonder and strength. You formed my innermost being, shaping my delicate inside and my intricate outside, and wove them all together in my mother's womb. I thank you, God, for making me so mysteriously complex. Everything you do is marvelously breathtaking. It simply amazes me to think about it. How thoroughly you know me, Lord. You even formed every bone in my body when you created me in the secret place, carefully, skillfully shaping me from nothing to something. You saw who you created me to be before I became me. Before I'd ever even seen the light of day, the number of days you planned for me were already recorded in your book. Every single moment you are thinking of me, how precious and wonderful to consider that you cherish me constantly in your every thought. O oh God, your desires toward me are more than the grains of sand on every shore. When I awake each morning, you are still with me. Wow, mm. so that is full of so much good stuff, isn't Lots it? Lots of good stuff. <laughs> it's hard yes. to know where to start. Yeah. But I think there are two main things that this scripture tells us. Mm -hmm. Number one is that God created us. It talks about how he formed us in our mother's womb mm. and he is our creator. Mm. The second thing it tells us is that God is all knowing and he knows everything about us. Yes. It says that he knows 
how many hairs are on our head. Mm. He knows the thoughts in our minds, the words that are going to come out of our mouth. Mm -hmm. And he knows what the future holds for each one of us. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Yeah. It also is so important to know that we are wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. So do you guys ever think about that? Like, do you get up in the morning and think your first thought of the day, like as you roll out of bed, (laughs) you're like, I am wonderfully made. I don't know about you, but I don't usually roll up and look at my mirror and go, oh, man, you are wonderfully made today. Yeah, 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 that would be kind of silly, but it's actually true. Yes. Isn't it? That's what the scripture is saying. Uh Uh-huh. Yep. So there's probably lots of times when you're thinking, I don't feel very wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a lot that's around me makes me feel like I'm all that great. Mm -hmm. Um, But the truth is... You are. Mm-hmm. God has made you wonderfully. Mm-hmm. He has taken good care to make you, and you are made really well mm-hmm. and really special. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's true. And we live in a world that um, really wants to try to form us. Mm. Okay, so it wants to try to tell us the things that we should like, and the things that we should think, and the things that we should be, mm. and the things that we should want. Okay, right. so we are just surrounded constantly by ads on the TV and ads in magazine and just all around us, things that are trying to get our attention and trying to to form us. So it's really important that we are doing our best to let God be the one to form us, like like the scripture says. So God formed us from the beginning, Mm -hmm. but that forming isn't done. That's it's right. not like he made us and we're just perfect and now it's all done. That's right. There's no more forming to happen. Yes. Right? So he formed us in the beginning, but then as we grow in our relationship with him, we are continuously being transformed mm-hmm. to be more like him. That's right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like I uh, like I did earlier, I had my little dough here. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know if you guys, I tied it in real well, <laughs> but I've yeah. got this dough here and maybe you guys have like played with Play-Doh and you've noticed this yourselves, but when I was making my little guy here before with the smiley face, mm-hmm. when I have made this... Little smiley face. There, there he's back again. I smushed him earlier. <laughs> he's back. But if you look really closely, you guys probably can't see. Little smiley guy. <laughs> um, my fingerprints are in what I've made of little smiley guy here. Mm-hmm. So I've made this little little dude, and my fingerprints are there. Mm-hmm. Hmm. What does that sound like? Well, when God made us, He made us really well, mm-hmm. and His image is all over us Mm -hmm. his love and care is all over us Mm -hmm. just like when we make play-doh and we make a little little thing Mm -hmm. our fingerprints are on that Mm -hmm. yeah that's really good yeah so we were made to be fully known by god Mm. and to know god fully Mm. Um, there's a famous quote that goes around that says that we all have a god-shaped hole in our hearts Mm. Okay, so I printed off a picture of an actual heart. It's like a little science lesson for you. Yikes. So this is a picture of a heart with a hole in it. Now, none of you guys have a hole in your heart like this. (laughs) But this is just um, a visual for you to see kind of what we're talking about. Mm. So we all were made to be satisfied and fully loved by God. That's right. That would fill this hole. Um, but we often will try to fill this hole with other things. Mm -hmm. Like we mentioned earlier, things that we see out in the world, we'll try to take our attention and take up that space that God is supposed to take in our hearts. Yeah, that's right. And Krista mentioned a few of those things. Anytime you turn on your TV, Mm -hmm. there's someone there trying to form you. Mm -hmm. You've seen an ad, you've seen a picture for a toy, Mm -hmm. you listen to music, even the friends that you're around the people that you're around in your life. When you Mm -hmm. go to the store, there's always going to be something that has an effect on you. Mm -hmm. And the, those things aren't always bad things, friends and toys and all the good things of life. Those Mm -hmm. are awesome. God Mm -hmm. has made a wonderful world for us to enjoy. But sometimes those things can lead us in the wrong direction Mm -hmm. and away from our God who knows best how to fill that hole Mm. in your heart, Mm -hmm. like Krista mentioned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those things were never meant to take the place of God. Right. Okay. And so because God formed us, because he knows us, and because he loves us, Mm. we are actually invited to show ourselves love and compassion the way that he does. That's right. 
Now this can also be a little tricky because sometimes I think we can get confused and think that loving ourselves means that we need to give ourselves everything that we want. Mm. Okay, so like I really like to eat cookies and chips and so <laughs> sometimes it feels really mm. loving to myself to just eat a bunch of cookies and chips all the time, right? Yep. Um, but if I continue to eat a bunch of cookies and chips every day and I continue to think about that and feed that to myself, do you think eventually my body's not going to be very happy with me? Oh, regrettably, yeah. it's probably not going to like Probably it. not. It's probably <laughs> not the best way to take care of myself and to love myself, yes, right? Yes, that's right. Right. So I think that's where it just gets a little bit tricky and we just have to do our best to remember that the love that we get to give to ourselves is the kind of love that it gives us what we need that's the best for us. Mm. That's the kind of love that God wants for us. Yeah. And, you know, you guys have been on a long journey with us talking about Jesus and uh, his teachings. Jesus didn't come straight out and say it was going to be easy. Right. He didn't say this was just going to be like the easy road. Mm -hmm. But because he is good and he has made us and knows us, that means he knows what we need. Mm -hmm. He knows before anything else what are the things that are going to fill us, the things that are going to make us whole, the things that are going to make us really awesome and creative and loving and kind in the world. He knows those things better than other people, other things. He knows how to fill that place more than anybody. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's right. And then I think the last thing we just want to cover real quick is the best news of all is that even when we try and fill this hole in our heart with things of the world or cookies and chips or whatever it is. <laughs> Ice cream. When we make mistakes, which will happen, <laughs> mm. we will all do this. And it's been happening from the beginning of time. Scripture is full of stories of people trying to satisfy themselves or make themselves happy with mm. other things other than God. Mm -hmm. But even when we do that, God is never far off. Mm. So it's not like he formed us and made us, but he's only going to be around when we do everything right. right. That's not the case. Yes. So he formed us, he created us, he knows us, and he is always with us. So even in the middle of our mistakes, all we do is call on him mm. and we can confess our mistake and just talk to him about it. And mm -hmm. he's right there to give us the help that we need and the love that we need. That's right. Yeah. And so... We have uh, attached with this email the activity page, the lesson mm. page, and the coloring page. And so I'd love for you guys to check it out. The activity for this week is um, an affirmation jar. Mm. And so this is something that I think would just be really cool to serve as a reminder to you of just how you're created mm. and how you're loved. And a good way for you to practice kind of showing yourself the compassion and love that you deserve. Because remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That's right. That is the truth. Yeah. So if you guys could check that out, that'd be awesome. Yeah. And we will see you guys next week. We love you guys. You are awesome. Mm -hmm. Bye.